Welcome back to Bluegrass on this beautiful June afternoon. Charlotte and I are out with Jinx, a Dutch Shepherd Malinois cross in Portly, a black Labrador retriever, and we're gonna walk dogs and we're gonna talk about what I feel like uh, is an often overlooked concept in today's parenting and <laughs> dog ownership circles. Okay, you ready? All right, let's go. Okay, here's what uh, I feel like we've overlooked in dog training for the last 20 years or so, and that's the concept of because I said so. <laughs> okay, ultimately, guys, I mean, I want uh, to, to be a dog trainer that kind of comes out here and, you know, has a good time with the dogs and makes sure that the, the dogs feel self-actualized. They get a lot of dog-on-dog -dog interaction. They get to go on lots of big adventures, and they have a general, you know, like positive outlook on life, okay? And I want the same thing for my daughter, okay? But ultimately, here's the truth. As an adult, I know things that these dogs and my daughter don't know. And so there's going to be plenty of times in life where like things just have to get done that maybe the dog doesn't understand why or the child doesn't understand why and ultimately like my answer is always going to be the same which is what Charlotte? Um, because I said so. Because I said so. Okay. Like right now Jinx sees my neighbor going over there fixing to mow his hay field. Right? Okay. And so he's thinking about running over there and barking at the fence line, you know, because that's kind of what these dogs do. And he can't. And he says, Stoney, why can't I? And I can't explain to Jinx that his natural protective, you know, instincts and tendencies where he lives is, you know, getting him in a lot of trouble and he's kind of in danger of losing his home. I, I can't explain that to him. So what I have to do is I just have to say, because I said so. Okay, we're going to walk this course, we're going to work on our vocabulary, we're going to work on our physical skills, we're going to work on Jinx's ability to stay calm and attentive and polite under high levels of distraction, okay, and ultimately it's because I said so. And yes, I'm going to be giving him some treats, and yes, I'm going to be giving him some love, and I'm going to play tug with him at some point today, and we're going to go out to our pre-adventure area, and I think we're going over to our farm, a lot of good stuff are happening, but none of that stuff can happen if this dog doesn't accept the fact that when I say things, that's the bottom line, you know? If he can't accept the concept of because Stoney said so, then he's not going to get integrated fully into my life. And if he doesn't get integrated fully into my life, he's for sure not going to get integrated fully into his owner's life, okay? Which is where this concept comes in. He has to mind because I said so, but also if Charlotte takes him, he has to mind because Charlotte said so, okay? Now, you might be thinking, well, like, what if he doesn't mind when Charlotte tells him what to do? Well, I will stop doing what I'm doing with this dog, and I will go back there, and I will make him do it. You know, that's an old-fashioned concept from the 70s called umbrella dominance, right? And you can call it what you will, okay? Another way to look at it is, you know, back in the day when, you know, you'd get in trouble and your mom would say, hey, wait till your dad gets home, right? And that was a big motivator for kids back when I was young to mind, right? Okay, well, dad's here right now. And if that dog starts giving Charlotte a hard time, I'm going to step around there and I'm going to remind him that he has to mind because she said so. And he said, well, Stoney, why do I have to mind because Charlotte said so? And guess what my answer is going to be? What's my answer going to be, Charlotte? Because I because I said so, right? So, so Jinx has to listen to Charlotte, right? He has to do what Charlotte said because Charlotte said so, right? Okay, and when he says, well, why do I have to do it because Charlotte says so? I said, because I said so, right? You know, I, I don't know how many of you watch who watch this channel now remember those days where like, you know, you just had to do what your mom said because uh, your dad said so, right? So you could be a big, strong teenage boy Okay? But uh, you still had to listen to your mom and you still had to pay attention. Well, that's what's going on with this dog right now. Easy. Come on. Up, up, up. You know, like uh, it's pretty hot out here and these dogs, they get tired of walking this course, especially, right, with, uh, with their, you know, when they're kind of like doing it with a person who's not really good at giving the treats or who's not likely to play tug or not likely to play with the ball, right? Okay. When that's all going on with Charlotte. Okay. But ultimately, we're going to get this work done. And we can get it done and then we can get on to doing our fun stuff or like I can take the leash back from Charlotte and I can make it happen anyway. Okay. And so that's what, that's really like a super, super important thing that you guys need to internalize. It's just the simple concept of because I said so. All right. Now, so this dog's been good. I'm going to let him off the leash. Right. And we're just going to take this concept where we were in our, like our exercise and small challenges course and uh, we're going to build on it. Okay. 
So I'm going to have Charlotte, come here, Jinx. I'm going to have Charlotte come over here, and she's going to walk her dog, and I'm going to steadily move myself away, right? Because it's easy for Jinx to think he has to mind when I'm really close, right? But I'm going to start to take myself out of the equation, right? And so Charlotte's going to walk through these uh, cones, and then she's going to say, sit. She's going to say, stay. And she's going to walk away from the dog a little bit. And I'm going to get on the motorcycle, and I'm going to ride around a little bit. And if the Jinx goes to get up, Charlotte's going to say, no, sit. And if Jinx doesn't comply, I'll stop my motorcycle, and I'll put him back in position. OK, you ready for that, Charlotte? OK, very nice. OK. So I tell you what, just run back over there and start coming all the way across the, uh, the uh, railroad ties, and then take him up there. And I'll go ahead and start the motorcycle now. so that we have a certain level of distraction when he comes by. And so basically when we got Jinx in, Jinx didn't, uh, the concept of doing something because he was told, uh, he was completely unfamiliar with that. You know, he had great owners, he'd done a lot of training, but none of it was the kind of training that results in uh, calm, attentive, and polite behavior under high levels of distraction, okay? So what we used to do is we'd bring him out here with no dogs, and then we brought him out here with a few dogs, and then we start to kind of gradually put his leash in other people's hands, which is what I'm doing with Charlotte right now. And now we just keep cranking up the levels of distraction. Very nice. Now underlying all of this is the fact that I let Jinx be a farm dog, right? Because ultimately, these Dutch Shepherds and Malinois are farm dogs, and so he has had a few weeks of tagging along with us while we did our chores around our farm, while we mowed, while we did construction, okay? And over the course of time, what's happened is that he has learned that, you know, when he's faced with a little bit of movement in the environment or a little bit of noise, okay, it's not that big a deal. He doesn't need to freak out and bark and carry on. He can just kind of relax. And once he kind of started getting used to stuff, as we call it, he got used to being in traffic, then we were off to the races because, I mean, he's an extremely pattern cognizant dog. He's extremely easy to motivate. I mean, he's just an awesome dog in general, okay? But none of that was coming out because he just wouldn't be calm, attentive, and polite because his owner said so. All right, guys, so uh, that's our video for today. I hope you like it. Uh, so get out there, do your click and treat, do your tug and work, do your exercise, do your puppy size adventures, okay? But sometimes put on that serious dad face or mom face and make your dog understand that they have to do it because you said so.